for the script that we've been looking at, everything happens pretty quickly and you can run the entire thing within a matter of, of seconds. Sometimes when you're working with more complicated things, you might have code that runs for minutes or maybe even hours. And sometimes then saving off your results is a very useful and practical thing to do because after you've spent an hour letting your code crank, if something were to happen or you mess something up, you would hate to have to redo all of that again. So you can actually save off variables and workspace quantities in MATLAB very easily using the save command. And I'll just show you a quick example of how to do that. So here I've generated the variables X and Y. If I come over to my workspace right now, those are the only two variables I actually have in my workspace. There's X and there's Y. If I use the save command in MATLAB, I give it a first argument that is the file name I want to save things off to. And then I can specify which variables I want to save off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then if we look in this directory, there is indeed a file called myfile.mat. So let me go ahead and do a close all, clear all, CLC. And then let's load myfile.mat. When I do that, we'll see over here, X and Y are now back in the workspace. There they are. Let me try doing this a slightly different way. Let me close all, clear all, so let's see. And let me start here. Let me run it from the beginning. And now we're going to have a whole bunch of extra variables in the workspace. If I come over here and look, there's just a whole bunch of different variables. I can run the save again. Let me grab this line right here. But instead of specifying variables, I'm going to say just save to my file. So if you don't specify the list of variables you want to save off, it will actually save all variables. Okay, so we can test that out. Close all, clear all. So everything's all cleared out. My workspace is empty. If I load my file, now when I load it, all the variables I have in the workspace are now there. Okay, so saving off mat files, that's the extension that files saved off of MATLAB have, they're .mat is a very useful thing you might need at some point, and that's how you do it with save and load. Another useful thing while you're developing code is what's called the profiler. And basically this is just a built-in tool in MATLAB that lets you analyze the runtime and computational complexity of the code you're writing. It's pretty easy to use. All you do is type profile on, and then run whatever you would like to run. So here we're playing with tutorial one. So let's let that run, and we'll just run the whole thing. And then when it's all done, I can do profile report. So profile on, profile report are the key things. Now this basically gives me a list of everything that just happened from the time I turned on the profiler to me asking for a generated report. So the main thing that took time running was tutorial one, because that's what I ran. And it actually took 2.5 seconds. This is actually all hyperlinked over here. I can actually go into tutorial one within this profile report and see what took so long. So here at the top, there's a table of some of the commands that took the most time to run. There's also a count of the different functions and other things that were called from tutorial one. So that's called the children. So tutorial one actually called the print function, the legend function, the contour function, mesh, you know, all these different things are dependencies in tutorial one. And then there's some other things. And then the nicest thing is it just actually shows all the code of tutorial one. It lists the number of times each line was executed and the time it took to do that line. So most of these are pretty boring. Most just executed one time and it took basically no time at all. So there was nothing even tabulated. But here, for instance, we see with this for loop, this is a for loop from one to n. So this line actually got called 20,000 times and that took three hundredths of a second. Okay, so it went pretty fast. Let's keep going. MATLAB highlights in red things that took a proportionally long time. So one of the things that took the longest when running tutorial one was this print command. It actually took 0.81 seconds. So MATLAB kind of puts that in red. The legend command, that actually took quite a bit of time too. MATLAB's kind of highlighted it for us. It took 0.3 seconds. And as we scroll down, there's not that much more that took much more time. Uh, the histogram took nine hundredths and starting that figure up took a tenth. So the profiler in this case was a little boring, right? There's not a lot going on for the most part, everything went quickly. But if you're writing complicated code and complicated function and you're letting it run and you're just trying to understand why in the world is it taking so long, um, the profiler can be a very useful tool to identify individual lines that could be bottlenecks in your code 
and then maybe you want to rethink how you're actually doing that code. Here, there's not a lot to do. I mean, the print command is how you save all things, so if we want to do that, it's going to take that long. But when you're doing algorithm development work, sometimes changing how you do the code to get the same answer can have a big impact on runtime. Okay. So those are some useful things to know in terms of saving off MATLAB files, loading MATLAB files, and then how to use the profiler to actually analyze your code.